If you have a checklist for carry guns, Micro 9s would probably tick all the boxes. It's why almost everyone who cares to exercise their right under the Second Amendment to carry a firearm for self-defense prefers them over any other type of handgun. Revolvers, on the other hand, don't have much going for them when it comes to carryability because these days they're better suited for hunting big game and for self-defense against dangerous predators. They're built to be bigger, beefier, and heavier than their Micro 9 counterparts to handle the most powerful pistol calibers in the world like the 454 Casul, the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum, the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, and the 500 Bushwhacker. But revolvers for concealed carry still have a strong following among some shooters who prefer their simplicity and ease of use. When a semi-auto jams, you have to tap the mag and whack the slide. When a revolver jams, you only need to pull the trigger a second time. The only real problem with concealed carry revolvers is their ammo capacity. Because they have to be lightweight, they have to be small, and with that, they have an equally small ammo capacity, typically 5 rounds of either 38 Special or 357 Magnum. Thankfully, there are at least 5 revolver models that weigh less than 25 ounces and still have room for at least 6 Magnum level cartridges in the cylinder. Here's my list of the top 5 lightweight revolvers with a higher capacity than most carry revolvers. Number 5. Taurus Model 327 The gun community has a mixed perception of Taurus firearms. On one hand, Taurus is known for offering some of the best bang for the buck firearms that are accessible to a wider range of people. When a Taurus firearm works, it works flawlessly. But on the other hand, the Brazilian firearms manufacturer has faced criticism over the years for bad firearms designs, quality control issues, and lousy customer service, all of which have resulted in a negative reputation among a lot of gun owners. Some people love Taurus, some people hate them, I'm somewhere in the middle, though I lean just a wee bit toward the hater side of the fence. It's why personally I'm half-hearted whenever I recommend any Taurus firearm, no matter how good of a product I think it is. But your perception of any particular brand shouldn't be influenced by any gun tuber, not even by yours truly. The best we can do other than relay info online is to provide anecdotes. And I can tell you that unlike the pistols for which a class action lawsuit was filed against the company in 2016, no Model 327 revolver owner has sued Taurus so far. Released in January of 2022, the Taurus Model 327 is a compact and lightweight revolver chambered in 327 Federal Magnum, a powerful 31 caliber cartridge. Just to give you a sense of how powerful it is, the heaviest bullet weight for the 327 Federal Magnum weighs 115 grains. Out of a 4-inch barrel, a 115-grain 327 Federal Magnum bullet has an average velocity of around 1,535 feet per second, equivalent to 602 foot-pounds of force. A similar 115-grain 9mm bullet has an average velocity of only 1,300 feet per second out of a 4-inch barrel, which amounts to 442 foot-pounds of force. If you crunch the numbers, that means weight for weight. The 327 Federal Magnum is about 36.19% more powerful than standard pressure 9mm. But I digress. Out of the Taurus 327's 2-inch barrel, that 115-grain bullet has an average velocity of around 1180 feet per second, which equates to 356 foot-pounds of force. Those numbers may not be as high as the ones you get when shooting the same bullet from a 4-inch barrel like that of the Ruger SP-101, but from the Taurus 327's 2-inch barrel, 356 foot-pounds is nothing to scuff at. And don't forget that the Taurus 327 made it to this list because it is a lightweight revolver that weighs only 22 ounces but has room for 6 rounds of 327 Federal Magnum in its cylinder. For $390, it is reliable and durable, which makes it a good carry gun. And if 6 rounds isn't enough, you can always get speed loaders from Speedbees or HKS. Number 4. Ruger LCR Model 5452 In at number 2, we got the Ruger LCR Model 5452 also chambered in 327 Federal Magnum. Unlike the manufacturer of the previous 327 Federal Magnum revolver I just talked about, Ruger is a darling of the gun community. It is one of the most well-respected firearms manufacturer despite the fact it is much younger compared to some of the more established companies that have been around for over a century. There are several reasons why people love Ruger firearms, one of which is the quality of its products. Ruger is known for building production firearms of good quality that are reliable, durable, and accurate. 
In addition, their firearms are often seen as offering excellent value for the price, delivering top-notch performance and features without costing an arm and a leg. Also, Ruger is known for providing aftermarket customer support that is second to none. Call them with a problem on a firearm you purchased from them, and they'll make you feel that they know what they're talking about and that they do care about you and your repeat business. Unlike other companies, customer support who likes to issue tickets, sends a shipping label, and often tells you that your gun malfunctioned because of some ammo you used. And lastly, Ruger has a history of introducing new and innovative products, such as the Ruger 1022 rifle and the number 4 revolver on this list with a higher capacity than typical lightweight revolvers, the Ruger LCR, chambered in 327 Federal Magnum. The original Ruger LCR in 38 Special was released back in January of 2009. LCR stands for Lightweight Compact Revolver, and because it was designed to be light and small enough for concealed carry, it could only fit a cylinder with five chambers. To a lot of people, Ruger's decision to use polymer for the frame felt weird because everyone was used to revolvers having an all-metal construction. But people grew to like the LCR, so much so that Ruger released it in 327 Federal Magnum, and like the Taurus 327, the LCR in 327 Federal Magnum has six rounds in a cylinder, though its barrel is a tad bit shorter as it measures only 1.87 inches and it is much lighter than the Taurus 327 as it weighs only 17 ounces. It also has a smoother trigger, and even though it has a heavier recoil than the Taurus 327, the Hogue Tamer grip helps with the recoil control. The only real downside to it is its MSRP of $859, which is more than twice the Taurus 327 suggested retail price. Number 3. Kiapa Rhino 200DS Kiapa Firearms was founded in 1958 in Bresca, Italy. The company has a long history of producing firearms and accessories and is known for its innovative designs and high-quality products. Over the years, Kiapa has grown to become a leading manufacturer of firearms and related products with a global presence in over 50 countries. It was some time in the early 2000s when Kiapa Firearms established its presence in the U.S. It is currently located in Dayton, Ohio, and has built a strong reputation in the American market for producing a wide range of products that are reliable and highly innovative, including shotguns, rifles, handguns, replica firearms, air guns, shooting accessories, etc. Some of the unique gun models Kiapa Firearms is known for include the Little Badger, which is a compact and lightweight folding single-shot rifle chambered in 22 LR and 22 Magnum, the Triple Crown, which is a whole family of triple-barrel break-action shotguns chambered in 12-gauge, 20-gauge, 28-gauge, and 410 bore, and the M6 Excalibur, a multi-caliber over and under carbine and shotgun combo that folds down to a 15-inch long package and allows the shooter to switch between different calibers by using eight different barrel inserts. But of all their uniquely designed firearms, nothing is more polarizing than the Kiapo Rhino, a six-shot revolver chambered in 357 Magnum with a distinctive barrel that is a subject of contention. It resembles a Rhino snout, which some revolver enthusiasts like and most others hate. But its Rhino snout appearance isn't just for show. The Kiapa Rhino revolver's barrel is designed such that its barrel is on the 6 o'clock position which greatly lowers its bore axis, resulting in reduced felt recoil, less muzzle flip, faster sight reacquisition, and quicker and more accurate follow-up shots. The Rhino 200DS model made it to this list because it is the most carry-friendly model out of the entire Rhino line with its weight of only 24 ounces. Kiapa designed the 200DS to be a lightweight carry piece by using a 2-inch barrel and a frame that is CNC machined from a solid block of high tensile aluminum alloy. Its cylinder is also unique, with its hexagonal shape and 6-shot capacity. If you're interested in one, it is priced just right, with its MSRP of $1,127. Number 2. Kimber K6S Kimber Manufacturing is an American firearms company that is mostly known for building production 1911 pistols that have a look of a custom build. In addition, they also build a wide selection of classic, sporting, hunting, and no-compromise tactical rifles. The company is renowned for its focus on precision engineering, quality materials, and attention to detail, which result in firearms that are accurate, reliable, and aesthetically appealing. Kimber offers a wide range of models for various shooting applications, including personal defense, hunting, and competitive shooting, and is particularly well regarded for its custom shop and limited edition firearms. But it never manufactured revolvers until it released its K6S revolver in 2016. 
The K6S is a double action only six shot revolver chambered in 357 Magnum designed with a compact frame and a two inch barrel for concealed carry self defense. Kimber touted as the lightest production six shot revolver, which features superior ergonomics, a smooth match grade trigger, and a satin finish. Considering the fact that its frame and barrel are both made of stainless steel and it has an unloaded weight of only 23 ounces but still has room for six rounds of 357 Magnum in its cylinder, Kimber accomplished quite a feat with the K6S, especially considering its MSRP of only $985. The release of the Kimber K6S was met with positive reviews and strong interest from revolver enthusiasts. Unlike the Kiapa Rhino, which looks like an abomination to revolver purists, the K6S is seen as a modern take on the classic revolver design, offering improved accuracy, a smooth trigger, and a sleek and concealable profile. Many revolver enthusiasts appreciate its high-quality construction and the manufacturer's attention to detail, as well as having a new player in the compact and lightweight revolver market for concealed carry that drives competition. Competition results in more innovative designs and lower prices. Number 1. Smith & Wesson 327 Performance Center Everyone knows Big Blue, so I won't bother talking about them in detail. Suffice it to say that of all their guns, their revolvers are widely considered to be some of the best in the world. In my opinion, the Smith & Wesson 686 is a better wheel gun than the Colt Python. You need proof? Just look at what happened to Colt. The Colt Python, with all the good things it had going for it, had to be discontinued a while back. And even after the company released a remake of it and all its other snake guns a couple years ago, Colt still couldn't recover from its 2015 bankruptcy such that one of its rival firearm manufacturers from Central Europe, Cheska's Bryovka Group, or CZ for short, was able to acquire it for a rather measly sum of $220 million. Smith & Wesson and Colt go way back. Both companies have a rich history of producing some of the most respected firearms in the world. But Colt has fallen by the wayside while Smith & Wesson remains profitable to this day. And that is not a coincidence. The Smith & Wesson 327 is number one on my list for three reasons. One, even with its large frame size, it is still lightweight because of the material used for its frame. Two, it's surprisingly easy to carry concealed because of its 2-inch barrel, though you will need smaller grips. And three, it has an 8-round cylinder, which gives it the highest ammo capacity out of all the revolvers on this list. Smith & Wesson has a patent for their scandium aluminum alloy processing method. Scandium is a prohibitively priced rare earth element that when properly combined with aluminum, results in an alloy that is almost as strong as steel, but retains its weight. And it is this patented scandium alloy technology that Big Blue has been using for a while now to build the lightest revolvers on the market rated for magnum cartridge pressure levels. The Model 327 Performance Center weighs only 22.4 ounces, about half of the Model 627 Performance Center's weight of 44 ounces. Both revolvers are built on Smith & Wesson's large end frame, and both have an 8-round mag capacity. That's the magic of scandium aluminum alloy. The only real downside to it is its MSRP of $1,519. But how often do you get to own such a lightweight, high-capacity revolver?